how do we understand the text that we read or listen to? Is it through identifying its main idea, key sentence, and supporting details? Hello, amazing learners! How are you today? I am your teacher, Randy, and I will be your learning facilitator for today's lesson. Are you excited? Examine the picture that will be flashed on your TV screen. What can you say about the picture? What sentence can we possibly construct in describing the picture? Right! The sentence that we can write about the picture is, The people are practicing social distancing while waiting for their turn to pay. Do you also practice social distancing? Good job! We must always practice social distancing and follow other health protocols to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Now, listen as I read to you the paragraph that will be flashed on screen. As I read, take note of the details in the paragraph and be able to answer the following questions. First, what is the most important idea in the paragraph? Second, where can you find the most important idea? Third, what are the details that support the most important idea? Floods can cause tremendous damage. They can ruin houses, roads, and buildings. Floods can take down trees and cause landslides. They often leave mud, sand, and debris behind. It can take months to clean up after a devastating flood. This time, you read the paragraph by yourself. Let us answer the questions. First, what is the most important idea in the paragraph? What is your answer? Right! Floods can cause tremendous damage. Second, where can you find the most important idea? That's right! The most important idea was found in the first sentence. Third, what are the details that support the most important idea? Great! These are the details that support the most important idea. First, they can ruin houses, roads, and buildings. Second, floods can take down trees and cause landslides. Third, they often leave mud, sand, and debris behind. Fourth, it can take months to clean up after a devastating flood. What did we just do? All right, we identified the main idea and the supporting details in the paragraph we listened to. Today, we will identify the main idea, key sentence, and the supporting details from text listened to. Now, let's go back to the paragraph and your answers in the previous activity. The first sentence which says that floods can cause tremendous damage is called the main idea in the paragraph. It is the most important thought or focus. A main idea may be stated directly or explicit, or it may be implied or implicit. If the main idea is stated directly, it can either be found at the beginning, middle, or end of a paragraph. In the paragraph we had, the main idea was found in the first sentence, which is also called as the key sentence. The key sentence sums up the main idea that you wish to state in the paragraph. The following sentences found in the paragraph are called the supporting details. First, 
they can ruin houses, roads, and buildings. Second, floods can take down trees and cause landslides. Third, they often leave mud, sand, and debris behind. Fourth, it can take months to clean up after a devastating flood. Supporting details give more information about the topic. They are not as general as the main idea. They help the reader understand more about the main idea. Let us have another activity. Listen to the paragraph that I will read and identify the main idea. Let's begin! Scientists can measure the intensity of an earthquake. They use an instrument called the Richter scale. The Richter scale compares the strength of different earthquakes. Earthquakes below 2.0 usually can't be felt. Earthquakes over 5.0 on the scale can cause damage. A magnitude 7.0 is a major earthquake and can cause tremendous damage. Let us check if you got the correct answer. What is the main idea in the paragraph? Correct! Scientists can measure the intensity of an earthquake. This is the main idea in the paragraph. It is found in the first sentence. Let's challenge ourselves more. You will listen to another passage and identify the main idea or a key sentence and write the supporting details. Let us have the first paragraph. Earthquakes are caused when plates of the Earth's crust move. Earthquakes happen along fault line in the Earth's crust. When the plane in the Earth suddenly shifts, the Earth will begin to shift, shake, or tremble. Let us check your answers. What is the main idea or the key sentence in the paragraph? That's right! Earthquakes are caused when plates of the Earth's crust move. What are the supporting details? Yes! First, earthquakes happen along fault line in the Earth's crust. Second, when the plate in the Earth suddenly shifts, the Earth will begin to shift, shake, or tremble. Let's have the second paragraph. Trees help prevent water pollution. They control the sudden flow of rainfall into the earth below the tree. This prevents pollutants to be carried to the ocean. Trees act like sponge that filters this water naturally and uses it to recharge groundwater supply. Let us check your answers. What is the main idea or the key sentence in the paragraph? Correct! Trees help prevent water pollution. What are the supporting details? That's right! First, they control the sudden flow of rainfall into the earth below the tree. Second, this prevents pollutants to be carried to the ocean. Third, trees act like sponge that filters this water naturally and uses it to recharge groundwater supply. Did you get the correct answers this time? If you did, excellent! If not, please focus more. This time, listen to the text that will be read. Identify the main idea and the supporting details. Many people are not fond of insects because of their appearance. Most insects, however, are actually harmless and helpful to human beings. Without them, life on Earth would be dull and less colorful. Many pleasing sights and sounds would disappear. We would lose sight of beautiful, brightly colored butterflies flying from flower to flower. 
you would not hear the humming of the cicadas and the chirping of the crickets on summer evenings. We would also miss the awesome sight of the fireflies looking for their mates at night. Some animals such as birds, fish, and other animals that eat insects would die. Most flowering plants need insects to spread their pollen. Hence, without the insects, they would also die. Since human beings eat fruits and vegetables, they would also be affected if these plants would die. Moreover, dead plants, animals, and garbage would not rot naturally without the insects that thrive on them. Thus, there will be many things that will let untouched and disappear without the insects surround us. Kids, read the paragraph by yourself. Let us check your answers. What is the sentence that tells the main idea in the paragraph? Write the letter of your answer. Right! Letter B tells the main idea of the paragraph that insects are actually harmless and helpful to human beings. What sentences support the main idea? Write the numbers of the sentences that support the main idea. What are the numbers of the sentences that support the main idea? Great! Sentences 1, 3, 4, and 5 are the supporting details. For our assessment, I will give you a series of sentences. Organize this to form a paragraph. Underline the main idea twice and the supporting details once. While I am reading, try to jot down the sentences so it would be easy for you to organize them into a paragraph. 1. More trees had to be cut down for housing and furniture. 2. Most animal extinctions are brought about by people. 3. More areas had to be cleared of trees to give more space for houses, schools, offices, roads, and other structures. 4. As population increased, people needed more food, more shelters, and more comforts. 5. As their natural habitat diminished, so did the population of the tamaraus, eagles, and other animals. 6. Forest lands had to give way to agriculture.
When you're finished answering, contact the number of your teachers found in your instructional kit. Or you could email or send message or SMS. Today, we learned how to identify the main idea, key sentence, and supporting details from text listened to. Kids, it is important to be attentive when listening to a text so you can identify the main idea and supporting details correctly. Again, this is your teacher Randy saying, Attentive listening fosters understanding. See you next time! Thank you.